Hello, in this tutorial we're going to use Adobe Flash to create a ripple effect using a motion tween. So to get started we're going to create um, a new file, an ActionScript 3.0 file. So we'll click on that to begin. And on the stage we'll start by creating a circle. So I'm just going to make it a um, light blue filled circle with a dark blue border and it's just going to be small to begin with and let's put that in the middle roughly in the middle and so it's going to be small to begin with and we'll apply a zoom and fade effect to start with so I'll select all of that right click and then convert to symbol a graphic symbol and I'll just give it a name of circle okay and then I'm going to right click on that frame, the first frame, and create a motion tween. Now automatically um, Flash adds 24 frames, but I'm going to shrink this down to just 10 frames. Okay, so at the beginning, the first frame, it's a small circle. At the end, on the 10th frame, I am going to make this circle uh, bigger. So I'm going to grab the free transform tool, Hold down the shift key and click and drag the corners to enlarge it. And I'm also going to apply an alpha color effect. So on the properties toolbar, after I've selected this shape, underneath color effect, I'm going to choose alpha for style and alpha is going to be set to 50%. Okay. All right. So I've got a zoom and fade effect there. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the first frame, hold down shift, and then click on that last frame, the tenth one, and I'm going to right click and click on copy frames. Then I'm going to create a new layer, and on about the fourth frame, I'm going to paste those frames that I've copied. So right click on the fourth frame, and then click on paste frames. Now, for some reason, it's extended that out a bit, so we'll just shrink it down so it's, it's still 10 individual frames there. So we can just click and drag and um, have that running to the 14th frame. Okay. I'm going to add another layer, and this time on roughly maybe about the 8th frame, I'm going to right-click, click on Paste Frames as well, and just shrink that down a little bit to probably about 18 frames. Okay, now I'm going to click on play and we have like a ripple effect there. All right, we could make that a little bit longer, so we could make it run a little bit slower by extending those frames out. But as you can see, there is a ripple effect there. All right, if we want, we can also add more layers and um, we could go ahead and add more layers so that there is. Um, so the effect runs for a little bit longer. So say we could go to the 12th frame and paste those frames and shrink that down just a little bit and play that again. And now it goes for a bit longer. Okay, so that is how to create a ripple effect using Adobe Flash. Thanks for watching.